Yeah, I mean, there's definitely several different sources of where you can find steady work. Professional organizers, realtors, small remodelers, where it doesn't make sense for them to get a dumpster. Small remodelers make a lot of sense to have a junk removal company come and remove the stuff. We've got a uh, small remodeler we work with that all they do is small bathroom remodels. So they're coming in, they're doing a demolition, an interior demolition of a bathroom. So we're hauling off tile work and sinks and old cabinetry and stuff like that. So it's a pretty small job. It doesn't make sense for them to get a dumpster. Uh, it's actually much more cost effective, not, mu uh, not to mention a better experience both for the contractor as well as the homeowner. Just to have a junk removal company come, you don't have this bin sitting in your yard or whatever. We come out, we're really quick to get out, fast same day service. We pick the stuff up, we load it. It's generally all bagged up. It's right where we can back right up to it. We go, we give the guy a discount, so he's happy. We're happy because it's a quick pickup and generally it's a quarter load to as much of a half load. So we just go off to the next job and combine it up so it works out really well. So small remodelers are great. Professional organizers and realtors doing business all throughout the year. Real estate does slow down some come winter, but you still have a lot of that going on. Property management companies, they have rental properties and all, are absolutely excellent sources to get some good consistent work because people are moving out of, a, of apartments and homes and all, all the time. So that's an excellent source. Now government, we do some government work. So the two areas of government that we found to be the most effective to get contracts or at least jobs from, number one, code enforcement offices. So if you have a legal dumping taking place uh, or somebody has just trashed the outside of their home and it's against local zoning ordinances, then they're gonna have a junk removal company come and actually remove those items. So sometimes they're difficult. Sometimes you're going down some big embankment and you're grabbing stuff and you're having to haul it up. We've even had from time to time, we've had to get uh, a winch, tow truck winch, even an excavator to kind of get some of the stuff out that's been like dumped down an embankment. The m m very common situation is somebody that's trashed the outside of their home and it's against the zoning ordinance. So what we actually do in that case is the zoning officer, the code enforcement officer, actually teams up with the local uh, police department. They actually send a sheriff's deputy or a police officer to the home while we're there, and we remove all the stuff outside the home. And the reason the police is there is we're taking people's stuff. We're taking people's stuff that they really don't want removed, but they've been given notices and letters and all like that, and finally, the town says, hey, this stuff's going. So we go in and we remove all that stuff. The officer's there to make sure that if things get violent, that we got somebody there looking after us. So uh, code enforcement, that's one area. The second area is if your local town, city, municipality has a housing authority that deals with lower income housing, that is an excellent area to get uh, government revenue coming in. So you need to look, look up your local housing authorities and then you start networking. And it could take a period of time. Remember, they've probably been working with somebody for a while, so they're gonna really have to get to know you and you're gonna have to network with them or this other company's gonna have to screw up or the owner retires or dies or gets sick or something uh, for you to be actually be able to get entry into it. But start cultivating that relationship now, knowing that, hey, it might be two years, three years, five years, 10 years before it actually pays off, but they can be very lucrative once you get those local housing authority contracts.